Will the Gamer 4, because, you know, we didn't, Will the Gamer 3 is not welcome here. No. no. <laughs> no. Neither is what happened to We're on our fourth. We're on our fourth. Yeah. We We're on our fourth. He went through three already. It's like it's like <laughs> Wayne from from DS Nine. <laughs> Just oh, Jeffrey we're, Jeffrey Coombs. Coombs, yeah. Coombs. Will, do you have a, a discovery or or a new pickup this week? I do, and it's not necessarily anything new tech. It's actually one of my retro collections. I picked up uh, a iMac from the All in One iMac from uh, 2009. Uh, running El Captain, and I tried to run some High Sear on it. Uh, played with the OS a little bit. I'm actually running Windows 10 on it right now. Um, playing with that. It's okay. Intel based, so I'm just tweaking Great. it. Obviously, it's pretty heavy and big, so I can't bring it out. But it, yeah, I've been. I just I like to play with it, tweak it, kind of see what the capabilities are. Um, I'm gonna start probably experimenting. I still got the mechanical hard drive in it. I just got a one terabyte. Sad of mechanical. I think I'm gonna go up to a solid state. Uh, probably see what that does as far as performance. Just just kind of just playing with it basically I, I like the old tech bringing it into a new world of you know there's always practical uses and everything right yeah you know, finding where you can use it did you thrift it how, how, where'd you pick it up yeah actually i got it um it was a thrift thrift find so i think it pays like it was like 20 some dollars for it it didn't work <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, wow. display and everything did in the posted, so I said, uh, I'll take it, <laughs> mm -hmm. do something with it. So yeah, I've actually been playing it, and then uh, I'll uh, put the streams up on there, um, different things like that. Just just kind of run in the middle of it. Um, it's it's I, we, I did a little streaming with it a couple weeks ago, and it's not real fast, but I actually did I did stream my uh, Prusa Mini for about three hours one one night one evening. So. For yeah, twenty bucks, I mean, good. you've got a Impressive. foot computer, yeah, that that works. And I mean, it, it is it is funny. And I think Go kind of pointed it out, like Windows ten on there, even though it's a Mac, and you got it working. Yep, I call it the. It's not your typical Hackintosh, but uh, it's it's uh, it's it's Windows on a Mac, which I think yeah. is just as fun. But you said it's an iMac, right? What color is it? Uh, it's the silver, silver bezeled. So it's funny, it's like, guys. Two thousand nine. Yeah, and I started laughing because I actually bought this one at a thrift store about two weeks ago for 50 bucks. And I yeah, did the thanks. same thing. I found a plug, plugged it in, and I'm like, this thing boots? I know it's Intel. I'm just going to take it. Because they, they had it labeled as a monitor. I'm like, that's not a monitor. There's a disk drive and everything else in there. <laughs> so whenever it booted, I didn't even let it go all the way and it like sold. Like, I'll... I'll I'm gonna actually clean it up and give it to my uh, my mom. I mean, she just does email web browsing and stuff, but right. it's nicer than the laptop she's got now. But yeah, I mean, it's it's odd that you could find these deals out there. I mean, twenty oh, yeah. fifty bucks for one of these things. Absolutely, you might as well just pick yep. it up and just have a second computer. They still got really good guts in them, so I mean, they for your basic computing, they're they're still pretty versatile nowadays as far as what you can do. But so I, you know, I gotta I gotta say, and and when it comes to like old technology i generally don't hold on to it like i i eliminate it i try to you know recoup costs i just don't need it hanging around and i'm different this way i've always been concerned about buying somebody else's computer not knowing where it's been how do you mitigate those concerns in getting you know an old computer that you just don't you don't know where it came from you don't know what's 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 what inside of it yeah i, I mean for me so if i'm selling the computer obviously everything's going to be on the hard drive you can format your computer the data theoretically can still get recovered if unless you do like a, an actual full in-depth right typically i just don't include the hard drive now if i'm buying it now if this machine for example if i booted it and there was personal files on there i wouldn't keep it i would wipe it and realistically like will said these things have mechanical hard drives in them my plan was to swap it out with the ssd i've taken computers from businesses uh if they're hipaa or not obviously you have to destroy the, uh, the hard drives, if it's HIPAA, um, and show proof of that. If it's not, and it's a business, I'll otherwise keep them personally, but I'll never sell them. Um, I'll dismantle them, you know, scrap them that way. That way, none of the data can actually be recovered. But that's typically how I. Yeah, I well, similar similar with me. I use a an old tool when I pick something up, and if it does have files and whatnot, I use an old program they used to call Nuke and Boot. It was um, it ran in the background. It was, it was its own software booted off a disk and it went all the way up to um, the qualifications at a military level of of getting rid of data any type of data encryption um and i would basically do that it does several passes through it so it, you're i mean it's pretty hard to recover anything and i don't know if anybody ever could 
but um and then a lot of stuff i pick up sometimes they don't have hard drives um and the big thing you can kind of look at if you're looking at other components i mean water damage is so inevitable this imac actually had a little bit and it, it still worked it's, a lot of it was just pulling moisture out which that's a whole other process but um yeah you can you can really tell generally but most of the stuff i pick up either the hard drives on there or it was just someone's personal computer so i nuke everything and and uh pretty much start fresh and then with with windows now too when you do a boot and you can delete your partitions new full format before you even install your new os on it as well so it gives you that option too before you even sell like a windows 10 laptop for example you can delete your old files and set it back to factory settings you know so if you're looking at just selling a piece of hardware i i i i'd still worry about taking somebody else's tech i just there's i don't know what it is and i have no problem thrifting i thrift toys all the time like half yeah. my star wars collection has been thrifted but there's just something about thrifting technology that i think people go gaga over i mean i've seen pe people at the thrift store going to the hardware section and just going on a shopping spree monitors keyboards my uh, you know all the way to computers and i just look and i think I, I don't know why one would apart from kind of what both of you are doing you're you're taking and you're restoring potentially to flip have you thought about flipping, like going th to thrifting and finding something that's viable, you know, getting it at a good price at a discount, knowing full well that you can turn around and sell it for, you know, X plus Y? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely been on the mind. But just like with everything right now, even thrifting's gotten expensive. Um, and you mm -hmm. did touch on one thing uh, was about keyboards. If you ever see a keyboard at a thrift store, don't buy it. It's the most yeah. disgusting thing in your entire house. <laughs> yeah. Do not buy a used keyboard. Do not yeah. buy a used don't mouse. Do not use a used headset. Like they are just covered in everything. Just, just they're e waste. Just don't touch them. Yep. yep. And you were talking about uh, you know repairing and flipping, and that goes into to any kind of electronics. I do the same thing with like vintage stereos and and speakers and things like that, um, where you can change a couple capacitors in a crossover usually that's all that's wrong with it um fire it up working i've got two sets of speakers in there and i could turn around and flip one of them i, I paid 125 dollars for it at a yard sale and in the condition that they're in right now which is like new i could flip it for like two grand if i wanted wow but yeah quite a bit so so it's nice if you have a hobby that can kind of be a little bit of a side hustle if you need it. So, but yeah, um, whenever I'm out and I'm looking for stuff, I'm always thinking ways to, to flip it if I can. Nice. Yeah. There's but a it's, lot, uh, it's interesting. Oh, I was going to say there's a lot of times too. Nowadays you just throw in a solid state. So the old hard drive, you know, they're mechanical. They're so much slower. So they're just kind of like pitch, you know, or um, what a old, another old trick is if you put them in the freezer they would um uh pretty much would destroy oh, right so the hard drive yeah. yep mechanical yep if you have one no. dying you could throw it in the freezer and let it get cold and you might be able to recover you pull it out obviously but then you hook it up mm -hmm. and you might be able to get some of the, the data back off before it worms up again that was an old trick yeah yep interesting i remember that <laughs>